Can you imagine if I started every video like that? Hi, like a cheesy 90s infomercial. Okay, anyways. Hello everyone, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Today I have a little try-on spring summer haul for you and it's actually brought to us by Princess Polly. They are a website I have always looked up to and I just, I love them. They just have my aesthetic and they nail it to a T because it's like that perfect mix of girly but also some street style stuff in there so you really get a lot for everyone. And they were actually kind enough to sponsor this video and also give me a promo code for you guys which I will leave on the screen obviously and down below. Also on their website right now, now they are offering free shipping on all orders over $50 and say you can't pay it all right now. You can always use Afterpay on their website, which is super handy. You can just do monthly payments with Afterpay. So it's a win-win. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. There must be something bad Some people are going to disagree with me on this, but I got myself a pair of low-rise jeans, okay? Um, I've heard that they're like coming back in style, but a lot of people don't want them to. They're a pretty light wash, I'd say, and they actually don't taper at the end. They just go completely straight down and uh, they're a very baggy fit, but I kind of like it. It gives me like a very early 2000s little moment and I like it a lot. Also, the low rise inspires me to work out more and get in shape because <laughs> you can very obviously see, especially because I like to wear crop tops in the summer, you can very obviously see your uh, stomach area. And so I'm definitely inspired to work out now because of these. <laughs> if anyone wants to hit me up with some workout plans, be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. A lot of times when I order pants, sometimes the legs or the hips are too small and so they don't fit me right. But these are actually really nice. Uh, the denims are really good quality. And yeah, I was actually super impressed with how these ended up fitting me because it's hard for me to find jeans that like fit correctly. The next item I'm always very weary of buying online because it's shoes. Um, I typically wear a size nine in women's. I just got these alligator print mules. They're this really pretty like warm brown color. I got a size nine just to be safe, but I honestly think I could have gone to a size eight just because this strap right here is a little bit larger around my foot. So yeah, they actually turned out surprisingly well considering I never buy shoes online, um, but maybe I should more often now. Yes. But sometimes if I get them too small, then my foot's like hanging off the end and it's just really uncomfortable. So I guess it's better that I bought them bigger than smaller. Right? Right. Um, also, I do apologize. I don't have the prettiest feet ever and uh, I currently can't go get a pedicure. So <laughs> just enjoy these short clips of uh, my feet and try not to look too close. I am disgusted. I can tell these were made really well and they also have a little bit of a cushion right here. So my foot's not completely flat and the uh, texture's not uncomfortable at all either. So the next item is actually the shirt that I'm wearing currently. Uh, it's just a very silky gold button down, but right now I have it styled to where it's just tied up in the front. This is actually one of my favorite items that I purchased from Princess Polly just because it's so soft and silky and it also gives me a very nice like vintage vibe that I love. Also the gold isn't super yellowy and fake looking. It's very like muted and uh, just like I said, a very vintagey gold. I believe I also got this shirt in a size four, which I was a little bit weary of just because uh, my arms are really long. So sometimes the measurements don't work out and I get a shirt that's like up to here. But actually the sleeves fit me great. And like I said, this is like the softest shirt ever. So I'm always just like, yeah. you know. The lighting just dramatically changed on me. I'm so sorry. Not only is this shirt like really soft, like I said, but it's almost elasticy, but it's definitely not like a starchy button down like a lot of times and the lighting, it's changing again. <laughs> a lot of times I'll order button downs and they're very starchy and um, hard to like manipulate and they just don't fit your body right. But this is very like molding to your body. It feels like coin, it feels like gold, it feels luxe, luxury, beautiful. Love it. Next, I have this little crop top moment um, on camera right here. It just looks like a plain black boring crop top. But actually, I think it's super cute. Um, it's more of like a halter top style, except right here, there's like a little peekaboo moment, except um, my breasts, I could literally shop in the children's section. So there's not gonna be any cleavage seeing through the people, but it's cute nonetheless. Okay, I still really like it. It's a really soft like black ribbed fabric and it also has a little clasp up there near the little peephole. I like wearing crop tops like this because I feel like I can get away with a shorter crop top if it goes more up here and it's more of like a mock neck. Another thing I really love about this is that the neck will go far enough to where I don't have to wear a strapless bra with this. I can just wear a normal strapped bra 
which is great because like I mentioned, I have a really small chest and so strapless bras aren't the easiest things for me to wear. So something like this with a neckline that extends a little bit farther just so I can still wear my strap bras is always great. Love it. literally don't know how to show this. It looks like I just skinned someone. Girl, what? Okay, from this angle, it is literally impossible to see what this is, um, but it's basically just a cute little nude bodysuit moment. It is partially a tube top, but then it goes into like a bodysuit, but it's all connected into one. It's sometimes kind of confusing to put on and understand, but it's super cute once you get there. It's also made of a really great thin elasti elasticity elastic material, <laughs> so it's perfect for layering things and uh, for not layering things. If I just want to throw this on in some shorts, then I'm good. I think like on the website, most of the girls were just wearing this like with no bra because they had something to fill it up with. However, I cannot say the same about myself. So this one is a little bit more challenging for me to wear just because whenever I wear a strapless bra, sometimes the bras are a little bit wider. So it's hard for the tube top to kind of cover it all. Or I just ended up using a bralette, which is also cool and it looked really cute. Uh, also really attractive face, Katie, good one. But once I finally get there and I like, find the bra and how it works, I'm like totally good to go. That's the only thing I would say if you're considering buying this is, you know, make sure you have a bra that would be, you know, thin enough to fit within the tube top or you just have enough boob there to fill it up because props to you if you do. Also, if you're trying to share some, let me know. I have the body of a 12 year old girl. I got this in a size two. I believe that it was low as a size zero, but I was afraid that it would just be too tight on me and it just, wouldn't look right. Typically, I wouldn't go for something like this bodysuit just because if you haven't noticed on my Instagram and through the rest of my YouTube videos, I'm very like girly kind of style. Um, but I wanted to expand a little bit and I thought that I could make this into my own. And I also thought it was a really interesting and unique piece that I could incorporate with pretty much anything. And once I get that summer body, then um, this is gonna look great on me and I'm really excited to start wearing this during the summer. Next, I got myself a pair of shorts. Um, I've been needing a new pair of shorts for the summer anyway, so I thought, let me go ahead and cop a pair. Why not? Why not just get hit two birds with one stone? So I went ahead and got myself these black shorts. I've seen this trend a lot recently where it's like the longer shorts that look very like capri, very early 2000s. Uh, I've seen a lot of like models wearing it. And I've been weary to get them because I'm scared they'll make me look short. Um, even though I'm like 5'7", five, 5'8", five, and my legs are long, I'm scared that since it's taking up so much of my leg, it's gonna make me look shorter. But I've actually been told they make me look taller, so that's on optical illusions. <laughs> I also really love the little rugged hemmed edges here, because they're not like the nice clean hem that a lot of shorts will have. Um, it gives it a little bit of like a rugged look, like I'm a, you know, a little bit rebellious. We don't know what I got into. Also, call me stupid, okay? But there's like this tag on the back. I think it's cute. It's like a little cloth tag and um, there's a dashed line for you to cut it. But like, do you have to? Am I stupid? <laughs> because it's kind of cute. Okay, shut up. Leave me alone. Okay, I think they're cute. Classic shorts. I love them. 10 out of 10. And it wouldn't be a fashion video for me if I didn't have some form of blazer, okay? Um, I've been wanting to get my hands on like a white blazer for a while. And this is actually a blazer jumpsuit. So it looks like a blazer from the front, but it actually has shorts built into it, which I think is really cool. The fabric is very nice. It's very heavy. Um, I think it feels amazing. It comes with shoulder pads, which usually I would cut out because I'm not the biggest fan of shoulder pads personally. Um, a lot of times my shoulders look big on their own, so I cut them out. But these actually look really nice. They're not too bulky, they're not too 80s. And I know how us ladies love our pockets, okay? So this does have two pockets on either side. Even though I got my other pants in a size four, I decided to go ahead and get this in a size two because I didn't want the blazer part to look super overwhelming on me because I do have a little bit of a smaller body. And it actually worked out great. Um, the shorts look really good. They don't look too tight on me at all. And because the fabric is a little bit baggier and a little bit heavier, um, it fits me really nicely, so I love it. 
All right, that's just about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be leaving all of Princess Polly's information in the description box below, along with my discount code to save you 20% off. But if the code's not enough, remember you can always use Afterpay on their website to do monthly payments. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to let me know which outfit was your favorite. If you're gonna go save some coin with my discount code on Princess Polly. And yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.